Alrighty, so the chaos in the marketplace continues and you're wondering, what does this actually mean for your land business? So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some strategies you can use to go ahead and use this to your advantage, not miss a beat and continue to scale and be profitable in your land investment business. But just know at any time directly below in the description area is plenty of resources you can use to go ahead and expand upon your passive income strategies or schedule one-on-one -on -one consulting calls with me if you need help getting through your first or next land investment deal. But seriously, let's get into this here. So the markets are freaking out. Every Everybody's in full panic and they're selling and everything's plummeting and naturally you're going to get a little nervous. Everybody does when these things happen. But what does this actually mean for you? Well, in times like these, you're going to use this to your advantage. If you're serious about land investing and you want to get properties cheap and you want to turn them around and flip them for fast profits or turn around and sell them for seller financing terms and get a monthly cash flow residual income coming from your deals, these are fantastic times for this. Here's the reason, everybody thinks the sky is falling and in some cases it kind of is, but that doesn't mean the world's over with, right? Still gonna be doing trade, hard assets are still great and people are still gonna be buyers. So with all that rambling I just did there, use this to your advantage. People are in panic mode. If you're in a position to do direct mail marketing and you wanna get a little ballsy, you could go ahead and make your offers even lower. So for example, you know I'm hot on Florida right now. Now let's say we were targeting an area in Florida where we are looking for quarter acre lots that we knew we could sell them for $5,000 and we wanted to pick these things up crazy cheap, we would make our offer price for $500. Now I've done this plenty of times in the past and I've purchased plenty of deals under these terms, but now in times like these, people are freaking out and they want to grab that hard cash because they think it's going to save their life. You may get better conversions at this point. So let's walk through this here. Let's say you went to Lee County, Florida. You're looking at Lee High Acres. You reach out to a company like Offers to Owners com. You say, I want to target out of state owners that own property in Lehigh Acres, Florida. Quarter acre lots are the size we want to target. We want to remove all LLCs and we're going to mail everybody an offer letter of $500 per property. Let's buy a thousand of these and send them out. So you send out a thousand offers and typically you can expect to get about three accepted offers out of that three to five roughly. But in times like these where people are in panic mode, you may be able to get a conversion of double that amount, maybe even triple that amount. I'm actually putting it to the test right now, so I don't want you to go off of these numbers exactly, but in times of panic, people get desperate and they sell fast. So that's why I want you to use this to your advantage in the land investment business. I'm actually gonna shoot another video showing how to determine great counties to pick to get cheap land that you can flip on passive income. Now, this whole process I just shared with you here, where you're gonna go ahead and send out offer letters for $500 on the properties, and let's say people are accepting your offers. If you're new to this, you're gonna get a signed contract back saying, yes, I'll absolutely sell this property to you for $500. Take this signed contract. You're gonna send it off to the title company that you've picked in the area where the property's located. They're gonna go ahead and do all the paperwork. They're gonna say, okay, we're ready to close. The total amount for closing is $1,100. This is title fees, closing costs, taxes, the property purchase, the whole Shazam 1100. So you had your $500 offer there accepted, but you have a bunch of fees you have to pay on top of that. So you're going to be all in for 1100. You wire that money to the title company. They pay off the seller. They file the property. The deed is now in your name. You're ready to sell this thing. If you're in a position where you need some fast, fast cash and you need to go ahead and get your own finances on track, go ahead and give it to a heavy hitting agent down there and just let them put it on the MLS and flip it for you for $5,000. After fees, you'll get a check for $4,000 minus the $1,100 you invested in the property. You just came up $2,900 before you got to pay tax on that. That will go ahead and move the needle. You can take that $2,900 profit, buy some more mailers, put a little money in your pocket and keep pressing forward. Or if you don't need the lump sums of cash, this is when you're going to go ahead and list the property on the platforms to sell on seller financing. Do something like 75 down, 75 a month for 60 months, make it look desirable, and bam, let that note run its course and get that monthly cash flow. Use that cash flow to go ahead and buy more cash flow, whether that's dividend stocks or staking crypto or just purchasing more property as you stockpile it and then put it into your next deal. Whatever the case may be, keep your money growing and flowing. So I know I kind of pivoted around a little bit, but the point being, don't freak out in these market crashes right here. They're phenomenal opportunities to use to your advantage. So if you're in the position to go ahead and send out those offers, make sure you do so. But let's go ahead and cover the stock market and cryptocurrencies as well. 
Now, everything is on sale for real. So the stock market, you may be thinking, what stocks do I buy? What funds do I buy? If you're into this or you wanna get into this, just go for the grandpa type stocks right now that are on sale, that pay a dividend. You know your money's gonna be relatively safe and when things rebound, it'll also appreciate and you'll get that extra income with as well as like Coca-Cola, Verizon, stocks like that that don't get beat up real bad during this volatility, but they do give a dividend and you get the upside or something that tracks the S&P 500. Focus on things like that right now if you want to be in that, but you don't want to take a ton of risk. The other side of this is crypto. Crypto is in the toilet at the moment, as they're all saying, but I like the dollar cost average. So part of my daily investment is alongside with whatever stocks I'm buying, I also throw $100 at cryptocurrencies every single day. Wake up, do my workout, throw $100 into a REIT, throw $100 into different cryptos, but I stake these cryptos, so I go ahead and get more passive income out of those. And if you don't understand what that is, basically you're just getting interest on that. Your Bitcoin, per se, let's uh, say on the Voyager app, pays 4.5%. So if you have, uh, I think it's a 10th of a Bitcoin in there, then they'll go ahead and pay you four and a half percent. And each month you get a little sliver of Bitcoin added to your account. So your money's growing for you there. And if Bitcoin takes off, you're buying in right now at 36,000, it shoots back up to 66,000. You get almost a double plus the income stream that comes along with that. So I'm kind of bouncing around here, but I just want to let you know and remind you that these are the opportunities when everybody's running, they're pulling their money out of the market and things are plummeting. If you keep yourself calm and cool, you could take your money and put it into the marketplace. You're buying it at a deep, deep discount. You're getting cash flow at a deep, deep discount. Keep a cool head. Watch the market. Continue buying. If you're worried about where your money's going or if you put in $5,000 and it turns into $3,000 the next day, that could be a little scary. So wake up and do $100 a day. You're not going to think anything of that. Or if $100 is stretching you, do $10 a day. I think everybody could do $10 a day and then build upon it as your confidence grows. So these are a few things to keep in mind. I just want to share my piece on the market crash since everybody on the planet has a great thumbnail right now talking about the world's over financially and blah, blah, blah. It's not the case. It's just an opportunity for you to use this to your advantage, pick up some phenomenal deals, and go ahead and expand your portfolio to whatever multi-million dollar outlook you have for your financial horizon. So as always, I truly appreciate you tuning into these videos. If you have any questions about land investing primarily, but what I'm doing in the stock market or cryptocurrency investing, go ahead and drop those questions down below. You could also text me at 440 Five six seven six zero four zero. I'll create the content answering your questions for you. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do that video showing how to scout out different areas to find cheap land. So you can go ahead and purchase these. We'll cover the whole purchasing process as well. So you can acquire these properties and then flip them fast or just get that cash flow. My favorite way of profiting in the business there. Whatever it may be, I'm going to cover all that for you. So as always, I truly appreciate you tuning into this. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.